What's up everyone? This is Vince, your buddy for Travel, Taste, and Talk. And today, I'm going to share with you a very simple and yet delicious pasta recipe. So, let's get started. We cut the broccoli. Uh, yung pangkay po niya, ito po, hindi po natin ito itatapon. Yung pangkay, kapag malambot pa po siya, kapag hiniwa, kapag sobrang tigas na niya, then it also means na matanda na siya and we don't want to use that. Now, for the broccoli, we want to make sure that it's clean and washed. So, we just um, cut this into bite sides. Next is that we chop our garlic. The more garlic, the better. Also, we cook our pasta according to its instruction until it reaches its al dente mode. Add oil and add a dash of salt to taste. Now that it's almost cooked, yeah, just set it aside and do not throw the water. Kasi yung water, gagamitin po natin siya to cook our broccoli. So, it's like uh, parang binablanch natin yung broccoli. You don't also want to overcook this because you don't want your broccoli to be so mushy. You want it crispy or crunchy rather. You also don't want to lose its vitamins and minerals. Minerals! <laughs> Sa isang pan, over low to medium heat, ilalagay po natin yung olive oil. And let's add our chopped garlic. So you don't want to overcook this garlic as well, you just want it light brown. Otherwise, um, yung taste po neto will be bitter. So wag po tayong masyadong maging bitter. Ayo po natin ang bitter. When it's light brown ready, add the broccoli. This time, para lang natin siyang stir fry. Nasa low heat lang po ito ha. Yan, hinahalo lang natin siya ng konti. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing and click that bell button so you guys ay ma-update sa lahat ng videos na meron tayo. Diba? Pag okay na yung broccoli, lagyan na rin po natin yung mushroom. So, this time, you can use whatever mushroom you like. You can use fresh mushrooms. But if you don't have that, you can use canned mushroom. So, this time, in stir fry lang din natin yung ating mushroom. And when it's already done, just place it in a bowl and then set it aside. With the same pan, add your fresh or evaporated milk. Add one tablespoon of all-purpose flour to thicken the milk. Lagay po tayo ng konting butter and just mix it all together. Until, mag uh, until ma-dissolve po yung flour. Haluin lang po. And then, lagay na rin po natin yung ating broccoli and ating mushroom. And there you go. So, we are just waiting for the broccoli and mushroom's flavor to infuse yung ating milk mixture. And we're now adding up our pasta. Wow! Actually, amoy na amoy ko na siya dito and I just can't wait to eat this. This is actually best for all types of celebrations. Add your red Pe red pepper flakes and just a bit salt to taste. Yan. Depende po sa inyo kung gano'ng kaalat ang gusto nyo. And then, konti pepper. Grabe, amoy na amoy na nga siya dito eh. Mmm! So delicious. You know that it's creamy. See that? can see how creamy it is. So this is 
already what we have and this is the best part mmm sobrang creamy milky plus yung nutty flavor ng cauliflower ay nando doon so this is very this is a very simple and yet delicious recipe that you want to try sa inyong bahay if you like this video click that subscribe button and that bell button so you guys will be updated sa lahat ng bagong videos na meron tayo. I'll see you guys sa susunod po nating videos. Bye! -bye.